Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're gonna have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail, I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be... What kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo-boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo-boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. In today's video, we're going to be traveling to New York City. Where we're going to be meeting with Auditing New York City. Well, this is a little bit of a different video. He's going to be begging for money because he needs a certain amount of money to pay his uh, phone off, his car insurance. What else? You know, instead of getting a, a job and doing a hard day's work, he's going to be begging for money. Sounds like another frauditor, right? Actually, uh, many frauditors. Well, let's enjoy the show. I would really love to revisit a lot of places that I have was able to go to. Um, places that was uh that fell you know crazy fell you know i would love to go back and just see if anything changed see if they learned anything see if anybody told them anything i would love to do that right first of all you going into a post office a government building and filming it doesn't do nothing your frauding does absolutely nothing are you not hired by the state you're not hired by the city you're not hired by anybody to go in and do the audits so they can improve. You just do it upon yourself for clicks and views. You know, your your opinion, your scoring, whether they passed or failed, means absolutely nothing. But this video is not about that, man. This video is, is, is simply asking for help, right? Now, look, man, I'm going to be honest. So, you know, I, I, I wasn't, I didn't want to do this. I, I really didn't. Why do these frauditors say the same script over and over again? I didn't really want to do this. I had no choice. You know, you had a choice. You chose frauditing. You chose to be a lowlife. You chose to be a scumbag. Nobody else did it to you. You chose the wrong path. Um, because it's a such thing called pride, right? You know, we all have it. <laughs> right? We all have pride. We all, sometimes we, we don't want to do things. Um, I mean, sometimes we don't have a choice, right? Because I've always tried to teach people, right? Anybody that's, that doesn't know certain things, like, you know, uh, uh, siblings, right? Kids, you know, like, like, I've always tried to, like, I always say, you won't know until you ask, right? Like a closed mouth don't get fed, right? Like, if you walk, like, I, I, I I'm... Yes, oh, I see. Good news, everyone. Yes, indeed, there's good news. You could work at McDonald's. You can make an honest living without going around filming people for clicks and views and aggravating them for more content views. You know, all you have to do is just apply. Go to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Arby's. Who knows? You might get a job. But most likely, because you're a frauder, you probably have an extensive criminal history. Because that seems to be a requirement to be a frauditor. Not only have a criminal history, but have horrible looking teeth. But I've always given people the, the advice, right? The, uh, like, if you scared, to, if, a, if, a, if a man is a scared to approach a female, right? If he's so scared, right? And there's a lot of us that's like that, right? There's a lot of us that... 
they won't they they just won't they just won't approach a female because they're they're scared of a of a rejection right but a closed mouth don't get fed right if you don't say you're hungry then how will somebody know you're hungry if 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 you won't you won't know what is this buffoon babbling about a closed mouth never gets fed i what what the heck is he talking about and i've never ever begged for anything <clears throat> I'm the kind of person I'll go out and I'll work for everything that I have. Everything that I've ever gotten, everything that I've ever owned, I've always worked for it. I never ever, I never depended on anybody to get me anything or to get to where I needed to go. I always worked hard and I always tried to save and I always tried to do the right thing. Well, that's a complete lie because he just chose frauditing. Instead of choosing frauditing, you could have chose a nice career doing something, construction, security. Work an honest, hard day's work. But no, you chose frauditing. Now, I'll admit, I don't know what you do during the day, but if you have to choose frauditing, that means you're not doing too good in life. Right? And there's one thing you guys probably don't know, but I, maybe you guys can hear it. The, this car that I'm driving is literally, like, on E. And I'm not saying E as in on the gas, right? I'm saying like the car is literally dying. Like there's so much stuff that I have to get, uh, that, that has to get done to this car, man. And I don't have the money to do it. I'm gonna just be honest. I don't have the money to do it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I that I wanna uh, do. And right now I'm just, I don't have the funds to do it. Okay, you don't have the funds to do it. So leave your car parked in the parking lot or sell it. Sell it for a scrap, sell it whatever you can get for. You know what I do when I need money? If I can't use a credit card, if it's really expensive, one, I don't buy it because I may not need it as much as I really think I do. Two, I put it on a credit card, pay it off in time. Why can't you do that? Oh, yeah, you probably never held a steady job to get credit, right? Um, you know, I had a, a, a job that was paying me very, very well, and I was laid off. You know who else he sounds like? Boogers McGee, a.k.a. Dumbwaiter, a.k.a. Elevator Boy, a.k.a. for public safety. He sounds like him. Oh, I had a couple international clients. I lost one of them uh, when I went to jail with all these YouTube videos. What else? What other excuses are you going to provide us? Um, you know, and this is the thing. You guys don't know about that because I don't I don't talk about stuff like that. I don't I don't broadcast my personal life and, and what I'm going through. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Get into a position to where I gotta be the one to ask, right? 12 seconds later. Just listen, it, my, this car is literally like on its on E and it, it's so much stuff that I gotta get done to this car. And obviously I can't get so much done to it because it's a lot of money. Um, but you know, little by little I can, I can get it done, right? Um, but I also got other bills, and I also got a phone bill that I got that's got to be, that's going to be due tomorrow, and that bill is like two hundred dollars. So, you know, I, I'm just sitting here. I, I, I'm, I'm coming out here, and I'm coming on here, right? And I didn't want to, but I felt like. Give me money, money me, money now. Me a money needing a lot now. I put so much into my videos right from the very very beginning right i put in so much right here's a thought for you instead of going online and e-begging and making your subscribers pay for everything why don't you get a job and with a car you could buy a manual one of these haynes manuals i don't know what kind of car you have but you could find a manual online from haynes take it home read it do all the work yourself save a couple bucks buy a part here and there or a couple tools here and there and you'll be good to go. I did that when I didn't have a lot of money. I actually bought a Haynes manual. I looked on YouTube. YouTube's a good source too. Go online and say, how do I change a carburetor? How do I change a transmission? Stuff like that. YouTube has it. My cash up out there. I had a, a, um, my PayPal out there, but I never once begged for anybody. I always just put it out there. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Right, and I don't care about the trolls. I, you know, I I really don't care about that. 
I'll, they'll get blocked. I'll delete that comment and, and I'll move on. One eternity later. You know the ones, you can pick out the ones, right? And it doesn't have anything to do with First Amendment ordinance, right? You could pick out the ones on YouTube, right? That who has been on here and you can literally tell that they did for the money. Well, he sure does sound like he's talking about First Amendment frauders. They just do this for money. Am I correct, good people? For the money. They don't they don't have no purpose. They really, really don't care about about you guys and about making you guys feel, you know, uh, uh, content and, 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 you know, giving you guys some good content and giving you guys some good videos. They really don't care about that. Six and a half hours later. I'm going to literally, because I had a troll tell me, oh, yeah, you make so much money on YouTube. I'm going to doubt this so people could literally see that I don't make nothing on YouTube. The reason why I'm not making any videos is because my car is not working uh, properly. You live in New York City, sell the car, then you have a few less bills to pay because you got expenses for gas, insurance, uh, registration, all that nonsense. If you sell it, you could buy a subway ticket, bus ticket, and use the, use the transportation that way. And you go to and from work, wherever you want to go. I did that when I lived in New York City. I never had a car in New York City. There's no point to it. I have a job, a little delivery job that, that doesn't really, really pay me that much. Oh, come on, just say it. Grubhub, Uber, DoorDash. Which one is it? You know, and I'm only... Honestly, man, I I, I feel like bad, you know, because, like, I, I never wanted to do this. I never wanted to come on here and ask anybody for any kind of help. I literally had... I got about 30 bucks to my name, right? And I'm going to have to put gas in this car really, really soon. This is the thing I really don't understand. You're there crying, you only have 30 bucks in your wallet, you need money, you need gas, you have very little gas in your car. Well, why are you making a 24-minute, 25-minute video with your car running if you need gas? Turn the stupid car off, you moron. Well, anyways, I had enough of this e-bagging. If you liked the show, remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch. Who's a troll? It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Here. Oh man! <laughs> I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull, yo! I can't even take it. Oh <laughs> man, this is. Can't even handle it no more. has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please don't, please don't make me sleep. Well, thank you. They're gonna make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Wait, dude, please. Oh my god, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you? You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. Dude has a YouTube channel. It's not me, by the way, so. Alright. This other gentleman, he's been getting in fights and altercations. He's been arrested, other people have been arrested, and what's going on is this guy who lives in Evans Mills mm -hmm. keeps going to, down to this bar, egging on the people down there, recording them, going live, mm. and it continues every single day. Hand to hand combat. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, sure. You ain't gonna do it. No, You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk, buddy. Come on. They are suing me for five million dollars caught crabs once i've had crabs a few times that so i'm the new honey boo boo of auditing <laughs> and i told my fiance and he just started busting out laughing and i'm like dude that's not funny that's not cool i'm not the honey boo boo of auditing dude i'm not trailer trash come on you're just a little guy you're just a little guy you're gonna come to find out that it's gonna be one in the ring call one for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy for playing by you. Grandma got a mouth. Wow.
a little too much accelerant. <laughs> it's Captain Happy. God damn it. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Why? Why? Why are you recording? Because <laughs> you look weird. I look weird? Do I look weird? You look creepy. I look creepy. Yeah, so don't worry, don't worry. It's don't hard worry. to get good. on YouTube and, and to get subs. Trust me, I, I know it's hard. But 17K, like even though, yeah, it's fantastic, it's great. If you have four arrests for 17K, not worth it. Not that great of an accomplishment. I'm letting everybody know because of all the backstabbers to like Delete Law, James Freeman, Lackluster, and all the people that made tons of money off of my videos. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. I used to say that like, I owned a franchise. I owned a Papa John's franchise.